your pit DBs are going to have to be on it all night. Daniels muffs the snap, composes himself, forced out of the pocket, has a receiver along the sideline, and that's a great play by JT Daniels, finds Bryce Ford Wheaton. Quarterback exchange, and really the timing of the play gets out of whack. Maybe your eyes go into the backfield, but it's a nice job by JT Daniels, just sneaking out to his left. Play clock at three. Slovis able to get it off. Pressure, set. That's Jared Bartlett who gets to Slovis and a loss of nine and a great stop for the Mountaineers defense. As far as the run and the pass, you're going to see Bartlett, who's really known for his speed and his ability to rush with finesse. Third and nine. Ball at the four. Slovis, snap high. Plenty of time over the middle and the first completion for Keaton Slovis. That's to Jared Wayne and a first down for Pitt. Back in the I formation. Another play fake for Slovis. Forced out of the pocket. You know, Slovis a little high step across midfield. You know, I don't know out of Desert Mountain High School that he was listed as a dual threat <laughs> quarterback. Koba missed the tackle on the first down point. Look, they told me, do not sleep on Keaton Slovis' athleticism. And if you're going to give him the edge, just right there like Linnell Carr did, he averaged over 19 yards per reception last year at La Tech. You know he can make big plays. Again, this drive started at Pittsburgh's three. Slovis' momentum has to climb the pocket, and he's brought down by Mallinger. Snap, clean, kick, good. And it's Pittsburgh who scores the first point to the backyard brawl with 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Play in this backyard brawl, third and one for Daniels in West Virginia. And it's a run right up the middle. There goes C.J. Donaldson. Donaldson in a gain of 43. What a play called by Harold at the 10-yard line. Let me tell you this, C.J. Donaldson, really a tight end by trade. But look, they said, they alluded to the fact that you're going to see him in the back. He's 6'2", 240 pounds, and he was rolling. Tempo for West Virginia. Bryce Ford Wheaton, answer Mountaineers. Go up and take the ball off the top of the rim. Here's Bryce Fort Wheaton mets up one-on-one -on -one against A.J. Woods. He, J.T. Daniels recognizes it immediately. First time in 11 years, Pitt has the ball. Here goes Rodney Hammond to the sideline. And Hammond's been the guy for Pittsburgh tonight at a gain of 14 and a first down. Ball downhill with a fullback in the backfield. You see right side of the line blocks down. you got a puller coming around. 55 Marcus Minor. And I'll tell you this, Rodney Hammond. Now an empty backfield for Slovis. First and 15 after the penalty. Pressure! Slovis gets it away, and what a move by Bob Means. Ball on the turf. West Virginia says they have it, and they do. C.J. Donaldson saw him break off the big play earlier back in the backfield. Second and five, the fake to Donaldson. Quick out to three, Caden Prather. And a great job, balls out again. Does Pittsburgh get it back? Think they do. They do. The talented safety, Eric Hallett, that comes up with it. You see Mark West Williams, you see him take on the block and get the ball out. That's a fantastic play. Ball at the four, third and goal. Are they going to run it? They do. That's Hammond trying to muscle his way into the end zone. And they rode the offensive line. Pitt back on top. Now, Baldonado is back in at the right defensive end. They've been having some success, some success on Wyatt Milam. Trips up top. Caden Prather, the reception. Prather makes a man miss down the sideline. And a first down, West Virginia. Servassier Dennis shoved him out of bounds at a gain of 23. Mountaineers in business. All of these guys flying around to the football and making big plays for this team. So an early third down for Slovis. Has to escape the pressure, and he can't. A sack by Jared Bartlett, and again, that pass rush. That three and out, give the ball back to our offense. And that's how the game started for Pitt. Same thing, three and out, they got oh. Slovis. Punt is blocked. Special teams coming up big. Scoop. Inside.
inside the five-yard line. And just like that, Lewis Riddick in all three phases, opportunity, defense, special teams inside the five. The give to C.J. Donaldson, the big freshman trying to muscle his way into the end zone. And how about that for the Mountaineers? First punch at a halftime, take the lead, touchdown. Remember last time, personal foul gave West Virginia the first down. Pressure again, and again, J.T. Daniels stays in the pocket. That's Sam James. What a completion on third and long. It was third and 12, gain of 21. West Virginia showing pressure, and again, the handoff. will fake the handoff over the middle to Jared Wayne. Wayne makes a man miss. Jared Wayne off to the races. Inside the 20, 10, 5 to the 3. What a perfect fake by Keaton Slovis. Aubrey Burks chases him down. He said about Koba, when he came in, he looked around, he said, I know I'm the leader of this team. Took him about one day to realize Koba was going to be the guy that was going to be the quarterback of this defense. Here comes the pressure. Slovis out of the backfield. Finds Hammond all by himself. Across the 50. Hammond gets the block. One man to beat. Hammond. Takes it down to the 10. Gain of 50. They got Big Boy back in the game. I mean, they found something with the running game, and they found something with C.J. Donaldson. This kid is special. Two flags on the play. Here comes J.T. Daniels. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. And what do you know? Bryce Ford Wheaton puts West Virginia an extra point away from tying up the backyard brawl as we start the fourth quarter. Well, he's going to be very happy when he watches the film on Bryce Ford Week. And again, West Virginia having guy. success on the run. It is C.J. Donaldson, the true freshman. What a night for Donaldson. Another big run brought down by Brandon Hill. We talked about it. Fatigue will start becoming a factor. Both teams have rotated a lot of players in here. There goes Mathis. Mathis makes a man miss, gets a block. Knocked down at the one-yard line, and now the West Virginia running game is starting to lead the way for the Mountaineer. I mean, you just see it here. He hands it off. You see Talon Deer coming downhill. You got to make that tackle. It's one-on-one -on -one in the hole. Yeah, the running back. JT under center. Quarterback Snake. They give him the touchdown. West Virginia regains the lead. This backyard brawl continues to be a heavyweight fight. Answer round to round, bell to bell. So another pass for Slovis out of the shotgun. Forced out of the pocket. He's going to go down. Dante Stills. Is Sean Martin fifth sack of the night for that West Virginia defense. He's not really keeping his eyes down the field. You see here, but even if you could just take a take a play, get the ball out of your hands, and even if you don't pick up the first down, are they going to go single high and leave somebody one on one? Slovis has time, takes a shot. That's Mumfield downfield, and Mumfield's going to move the chains inside the thirty. Brought down by Marcus Floyd. Across the middle is Slovis. That's a bad Akanda. Makes a man miss. There goes Izzy. Izzy. Touchdown, Pitt. 24 yards. Daniel's going to throw on first down. Goes to the sidelines. Has a man. throw the football you got to go Daniels out of the pocket keeps his eyes downfield 
takes a shot. His tight end broke from coverage. That's Mike O'Laughlin in a big first down, West Virginia. Lose contain on the passer. He's able to buy time getting out on the perimeter. That's when, as a defensive back, you have to plaster. Sacked. How about pass to Sabatier? <laughs> JT Daniels stayed up. John Morgan, a big game in exchange for Alexander, who was hurt early. Daniels takes a shot. Was that caught? After further review, the receiver lost possession of the ball when it hit the ground. The pass was incomplete. It will be first down kick at the previous spot. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.